Riders. This is Deidre Huey with Action Rider Tack. And I, I wanted to share something that happened the other day. I was doing some research and came across an article called Caligula's Horse. And this was in the Huffington Post. And it piqued my interest, so I went into the article. And it went on to talk about how in 27 BC, Augustus Caesar took over Rome and created the Roman Empire. And prior to that, there was a Senate in charge, but he didn't abolish the Senate. And the Senate continued to meet for five centuries, even though they really didn't have any power. And they become more of a debating society and a council to do whatever the emperor wished them to do. Now, to prove this point that there was no power in the Senate, when Emperor Caligula came into power, he appointed his horse in Canatus to the Senate. Uh, it was an interesting story. The article went on to compare our current Congress to the Senate, but that's not really the point of this. I get really interested about this Caligula character and his horse in Canatus. According to a number of sources, in Canatus came from Spain to be added to Caligula's stable of racehorses. A lot of Romans were very, very heavily into racing horses at that time. Well, Caligula fell madly in love with Canatus and claimed that he was the combination of all gods and he was to be worshipped as such. So, Incanatus was robed in purple blankets and had a precious stone collar made for him. Caligula also ordered that his stable was to be made of marble with a veneer of ivory. He later had a house and a garden built for his horse. And it was here in this house that he invited dignitaries to come and dine with his horse. And it's said that he had up to 18 servants to take care of his horse. One legend actually states that the night before a race, Caligula would sleep next to in Canatus to ensure that he had a restful night's sleep. Because if someone were to wake his horse, he would kill him. Uh, Caligula also had his horse married to a mare named Penelope. So it was very interesting. We've certainly loved our horses for centuries, and some would say on the verge of insanity. But who am I to say? Be one with your horse. Take care.